Hey there, I'm meteorologist Tom Kippen. Here's the weather layout for Tuesday. High pressure is going to build over the upper Great Lakes, and that's going to mean quiet weather conditions along with sunshine. But this high moves to the east Tuesday night, opening the doors for Wednesday for our next storm system to move here. And this storm system will bring us rain late in the day on Wednesday. And by Wednesday night, some spots could see it mix with or change over to snow. For those locations that will see some snow Wednesday night on into Thursday morning, keep in mind it's going to be a fine line between rain and snow or that switch over between rain and snow with temperatures 32 to 34 degrees. So forecast changes are likely for the snow part of this. So stay tuned for forecast updates. Also, don't remove this snow. It's going to be heavy, wet snow, especially if you have health issues. And in fact, just let it melt Friday when temperatures go well above freezing and we get some sunshine here. For those locations, stay in all rain, especially south central UP. Menominee County over towards Delta County, Escanaba over towards Southern Schoolcraft, Manistique area. Flooding will be possible in poor drainage areas and low line areas, and this includes also rivers, creeks, and streams. Turn around and don't drown. We always say it. Find another route if you encounter a flooded roadway, especially at night. Here's your keeping it local extended forecast. Not too bad of a day on Tuesday. Mild temperatures away from the Great Lakes, and in fact, could see a 60 degree reading well inland. And then we got that mess that moves in for. Wednesday and Thursday for the eastern UP. Not too bad of a day for Tuesday. This part of the UP, not so much concerned about wintry precipitation as I am concerned about heavier rain that could cause some localized flooding. And that precipitation moves in for Wednesday late in the day and continues on into Thursday. Same for the south central UP. Sure, we could see a few snowflakes mix in or we could see a rain snow mix, but I'm more concerned about heavier rain falling in this part of upper Michigan as opposed to wintry precipitation and that will be for Wednesday night on into Thursday. Interior West, we're back to wintry precipitation that could happen late Wednesday night on into Thursday morning, and it could mix with or even change over to some wet snow. And same for the Keweenaw Peninsula. We could see a uh, wet snow or some snow mixing with the rain, and that would be for Wednesday night and Thursday. But in this part of the UP, I think the precipitation will be just a little bit lighter as opposed to the central and eastern UP. Thanks for logging on to our webpage, upmatters.com.